Hi everyone, I'm John, and welcome back to Puzzle Me This. This is part 15, so it is the 14th month update on the 42,000 piece around the world jigsaw puzzle. I know that's a little bit of a weird camera angle. Last month I had it up a little higher so that you could see down the table while I was talking and that seemed to work okay so this time I put it up almost to the ceiling so we'll have to see how that looks the last two months I walked down along the puzzle holding the camera so that you could see the entire puzzle because it's so hard to try to get it all standing just in one spot and Isolum 13 I hope I'm saying that right they suggested that I show me walking down through from last month and then show me walking down through this month so that we could see the difference and that sounded like a good idea so at the end of this video I'll, wa I'll show the walk down through from two months ago and then when I walk down through last month and then we'll walk down through this month so hopefully each time I go down through we'll see some progress This last month, I was watching Jeanette from Jeanette and Her Puzzles. And she did a 3,000-piece puzzle, which is the biggest that she has done so far. And she had mentioned that it seems like a 2,000-piece puzzle is more than twice as difficult as a 1,000-piece. And this 3,000-piece, she thought, was more than three times harder than a 1,000 piece. So I looked it up and I'll leave a link to the the website where they figure this out. And it's a complicated formula. They take a lot of things into account and it, it was complicated. It's it, It's above my high school basic math education. But it says on there that a 2,000 piece puzzle is about four times as hard as a 1,000 piece. And a 3,000 piece puzzle is nine times harder than a 1,000 piece. I tried to figure it out for really big puzzles like 24,000 or 33,000 or 42,000 or 60,000 but I didn't get very far my head started to hurt so if anybody wants to try to figure that out uh, let me know <laughs> what numbers you come up with anyway on to this month's video we are at 2,649.75 hours so if you add 15 minutes to it it's 2,650 hours that we've spent on the puzzle. So let me show you what we've done this month. I spent this whole month working on mountains. So I'll show you them and the other stuff that we've done. I think the cardboards are all pretty much the same this month. I didn't really get any emptied. We did pick a lot of pieces out from different cardboards. But maybe by the next video, I'll go through and try to combine some. I can probably get the yellow ones here, maybe on one less cardboard, and maybe even the, the old building pieces. 
and probably maybe the sky pieces and even the mountain pieces. They're on two cardboards. I could probably get them on one. And this pile, maybe, these are the ones that we picked out that we thought we recognized, or maybe there's some pattern pieces on there, too. So maybe I can get rid of some of them. Uh, these are the cardboards. That's probably about the same as last month. Oh, let me show you this while I'm thinking of it. Somehow, you all can see things that I have wrong in the puzzle. And I don't know how you can see that on a YouTube video, but Logic Master Steve and Soldier Two-Face, they both found something last month that I had wrong. And they told me, you know, move this piece here, and then you can move that down, and, and it'll fit in there, and this will go that way, and... Somehow they found two things that I had wrong. And I told them that I was going to put them in the book. And I did. I have them right here. Logic Master Steve, Soldier Two-Face, 3690. I put you each in for 15 minutes. So I have you in the book there. Uh, let me show you the mountains that I've been working on. There are 14 mountains in the puzzle that he has numbered in the book that he says what they are. And I thought I would get the mountains done and maybe get started on Mount Rushmore this month. But it turns out that the mountains, a lot of them, they start off looking like mountains with a rough texture of snow and rocks or rocks and shadow. And those are easy to pick out as mountains. But as you get down into the mountain a little bit, it turns into a more of a subtle blue and white difference. And it turns out I had those pieces picked out as sky pieces because it looks like sky and clouds or a different subtle shade of blue or gray or yellowish. So when doing the mountains, I had to look through the mountain cardboards over there and a lot of the sky cardboards. And it worked out pretty well because I had a lot of sky cardboards there. One, two, three, four, four or five sky cardboards. And I don't need that many more sky pieces. So I was wondering where they were going to go. So that took me a little longer. I was looking through more pieces than I was expecting to. But this mountain is Mount Fuji. Down here, this mountain is Mount Everest in the Himalayas. This one is Mount Kilimanjaro in Kenya. That was a big mountain. That covered... Uh, a pretty big area there. This one is the Hagar, Hagar Mountains, uh, UAE. These above the Blue Mosque, I believe it is, the Blue Domes, we always call it. That's the Caucasus Mountains in Russia. The mountains behind the castle are the Alp Waltz Vimin in Germany. 
Tinker Bella Rocks is laughing at me right now because I know I pronounced that wrong. And I'm sure she knows how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, over here is the Matterhorn in Switzerland. And here behind the hot air balloon is Mount Blanc in France. I'm half done that mountain. I started with the mountains. I started working down there. If you remember from last month, there was a big empty space there. And I started with that. And then I did a couple other ones just a little bit. And then I thought, well, let me start at that end up there. And I'll come down through and do each mountain. And that's what I did. And so far, I'm right here. I got this one maybe half done. So I need to do the other half of that mountain. And behind the Christ the Redeemer statue is the Andes Mountains. And I don't have these yet, but I'll tell you what they will be when I get to them. This will be the Grand Tetons in Wyoming. That'll be above Mount Rushmore there. And then the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California will go right in here. Now this one, behind the Golden Gate Bridge and behind the bird there, if you can see the bird, that's Mount Whitney in California. And then the mountain up top, the later colored mountain, that's Mount McKinley. Or now, I guess, it's called Mount Denali in Alaska. And then the darker one in front of it, that is the Rocky Mountains. So, that's the 14 mountains that are on the puzzle. I don't know if I have a lot to show you that we've done... At the bottom of the puzzle, we, we did get a lot of pieces in, but it was not really one specific thing. But I'll go through and see if there's anything that, that stands out to me. I know Shauna, she came over a couple times, and one of the things she worked on, if I can show that without much glare on it, was this corner down here. Getting, getting a lot of that together. Oh, and the CN Tower, the very top of it there. We didn't have much in front of the mountains, and we, we started looking for those parts. So we have a little bit more done there than we had before. A lot of it, like I always say, we put pieces in just everywhere and it doesn't at the end of the day it doesn't look like we really did much but we've gotten more pieces in so we're further ahead than we were if we wouldn't have been doing that oh this tower here this is the Malastrana tower in Prague we did have a little bit of it done. I think I had the shadow side and maybe along where the grass is here. And maybe a couple pieces inside, but I got that done a little bit too last month. And over here, we had these brown pieces picked out for quite a while. The brown and tan. And we tried a couple times to get them in. And a friend of mine, Bob, came over. And I need to get him on video and introduce him to you guys yet. But he came over and, and started on it. And then Mom did some of it too, I believe. And that is Petra in Jordan. But we've had them pieces picked out for a while and just haven't been able to get it together so we're starting on that 
Uh, also, the Sphinx. When I did the mountain there, I got the outline of the Sphinx. So maybe we can get started on doing something of that too. And there was something else I was going to show you up here. I've slowly been getting more of, of this building, this color blue coming in here. Oh, this building here. We don't have much of it yet. Just a little bit along here and some here and along here. That's the Swedagon Pagoda in Monomar. And if you look at the book or the posters, it's a yellow color that kind of goes into shadow. And if I was looking through the cardboard for that building, I probably wouldn't even think to look for these colors as part of that building. But it is. And also about the books and the poster, a book and the poster. I think I did get through to Educa and it sent the email in. So hopefully I'll hear back from them sometime about new books, new book and poster. And a couple of you had suggested that because our book and posters are so wore out that we should laminate them or put them in plastic sleeves. And that's a good idea. I wish we would have done that at the beginning. That would have preserved them better. But we didn't think about that at the time, about the books wearing out and the poster wearing out. So, so thank you all for your suggestions. Okay, I'm going to put in here the last two months that I walked down through showing the puzzle. There won't be any sound because I talked while I was doing it and it wouldn't make any sense to have the sound going now. So for the next minute or so, there won't be any sound. I know if I was a real YouTuber, I'd put music or something in there, but... <laughs> It'll be quiet for for the next minute or so. And then we'll come back and I'll walk down through it today. And hopefully over those three months, we'll be able to tell a difference, hopefully less white empty table spots. So I'll put them in now and then... Be back. Okay, I'm going to walk down through the puzzle this month, and hopefully we can see a difference from the last two months and then this month. There are still some big spaces yet. Right in there, we have a bunch of animals that need to go there. And the Colosseum will go in that white space.
So hopefully it'll look better this month than it has for the last two months. So I want to thank everyone so much for taking the time to watch. And until next month, go put your puzzle together.